Happy new vlog week, people. Yay, it's Monday. Okay, maybe not so much yay, but I made it through. I got to the end. Also, I've still got my sunglasses on. What an idiot. Um, yes, it's Monday. Made it through the week. Uh, fairly okay day at work. A couple of meetings. Had my salad. Um, and then I went shopping after work. Before I went on holiday, just like patterned skinny cigarette pants. Um, and I really like them. They're only 11 quid from... Um, Primark so I thought I'd go get some more because for 11 quid you can't really go wrong um, so I went and called after work and I got a black let me twist you round I got a black pair that are a little bit shorter than these because these are just like ankly ones with my little cat shoes on so little ankly ones then I got this burgundy pair sorry I thought somebody shouting me there's like so many patterns, there's my pants, there's the city, there's these, and there's them. So you got like a burgundy pair. It's got like a kind of paisley-ish print on. And then I got these. Which I'm not too sure about these because they're a little bit lighter. And lighter colours make me look massive at the bottom because that's why I'm massive. Although it's showing up black and white on my screen. Like a very pale pink in the pattern. I think you can see now. So yes. Hopefully they'll look okay on. I oh, I am going to a Paul Mitchell event on Wednesday <coughs> Wednesday night. So I think I'm going to wear a pair of them because I'm, I finish work at, the, I think the event's at half seven, seven. I finish work at half five. I'm going to run home, see to Percy, give him a bit of attention and run back to the event. So they'll be quite decent to wear. <coughs> and I might put my Kurt Geiger shoes on with them, depends if I'm running back to town or if I shall be getting an Uber. Um, yeah, that's all I've done today. Work, ate my salad, had a meeting, had some fruit, went to Primark. Interesting times. Because I don't really do much. Um, the last vlog was about as exciting as my life will get. Um, cat toys, semi-permanent brows, and a trip to London. It's about as good as it gets. Setting the tone for the channel. Hi everyone, it's Tuesday. One step closer to Friday. Um, that's about all I have to say on everything, not just the Tuesday matter. Um, just currently taking some blog pictures. Um, I tried to do to capture me capturing the pictures and then I'm hopefully going to speed it up but if it looks naff then you won't have seen it this is what I have to contend with at the minute Percy what are you doing? don't eat the sellotape, no it's bad for you so when I try to take blog pictures this is what happens he climbs all over them not a happy bunny are you mate? so you should be playing with me Instead of the stupid cameras. So yeah, just taking a couple of blog pictures that need to be done for posts. Um, what else am I doing? I'm trying to export my blog at the minute that's supposed to go up tomorrow. But, oh, just found a peely patch of skin. No. So my tan's going to peel off now. So yeah, I've just found, uh, tried to export that and it's not working. I've been trying since half six and it's now half past eight. Still not even eaten yet. So it's not going well at all. Are you doing trouble? And that's just trying to export it from Final Cut Pro onto my laptop. That's not even trying to get it into um, YouTube. That's probably going to take about 3,000 minutes. Because that's the way of the YouTubes. So yeah, it's going to be a long night. I can just tell. I have no idea. Get off the makeup brushes. There'll be trouble if I find you chewing them. They're blog props, they're not for Percy. Yes, I have no idea why it's not playing ball because... Stop it, you can't eat sellotape, I've told you. Oi. <laughs> Say hello. Okay, don't bother. So, yes, I have no idea what's wrong with it. It worked the other day. It worked the other day, but it's not working now. And by the other day, I mean on, like, Saturday, I exported my travel vlog which is not going to ever see the light of day because it's terrible this lighting though 
I've got my um, soft, box, soft box lights on. So, little brow update. They're still going strong. They're starting to, um, like when I touch them, I can feel that they're getting a little crispy, flaky, crispy. They're starting to feel like flaky and crusty. There's nothing flaking off yet, but they feel really dry. Um, so, Elle gave me some coconut oil like a little pot of coconut oil to put on them when they start to feel like this so I'm going to put that on overnight and then in the morning when I get a shower I've got some balm to put on them which I've been putting on it's, it's really weird trying not to get my brows wet but it's worth it what's I say I'm sorting out a mess every single day I'm sure people think I live in a pigsty but when I take blog pictures I'll see if I can show you. The I've only been doing pictures for about an hour, if that, and already look at the mess. So we have my Mac, we have makeup strewn all over the floor. So we have my Mac, we have makeup all over the floor, more makeup and rubbish here, hair dryer. Empty boxes, gin, cat toy, the stupid cat toy that's really loud and annoying, my shoes and my trousers, more boxes, soft box lighting, more boxes upon boxes of stuff. There's just stuff everywhere. Look at where I've stopped that video. So hot. I mean, I wonder why I'm single. Um, I've been such an idiot. So I just finished this vlog and then I was like, picked up my laptop, put it in my blog setup, and was like, oh yeah, I'll mess around, see if I can export it again. Turns out I was exporting it to the wrong place. Well, to a place, but I didn't know where that place was. So I just went to look through all files and searched vlog, and there's like, eight copies of the same vlog in the same place like ugh, it's ridiculous so i found it now but yeah oh, so fit somebody called vogue right i'm definitely off now because now i've figured it out and it is half past eight i'm gonna go get something to eat and play with percy don't you dare break my mac percy there will be trouble I'm just to ignore me then. Um, so yes, I'm going to go sort out something to eat and play with Percy before he destroys my house and my Mac. Bye. Bye for good this time. I will check in tomorrow. Ow! <laughs> my cat just scratched my back. I will check in tomorrow evening when I'm at the Paul Mitchell event. I'll show you my fancy pants dinner. Hello everyone. So um, I just got home, well I got home about 40 minutes ago, um, curled my hair, put some fresh lipstick on and powdered my face because I was looking greasy. Um, so I am off back out again, uh, where am I going? I'm going to the Paul Mitchell press dinner event in Leeds at Malmaison so I'm going to take you along with me, hopefully it should be fun and lots and lots of yummy food, although I'm hoping there's not lots and lots of yummy food because Weight Watchers problems. Um, nothing much has happened today. Totally realised that my makeup does not match at all. I've got like brown eyes and lilac lips. Mm -hmm. So I just got back from the Paul Mitchell event. It was so, so much fun. It was lovely to see Amy and Michaela again. Because um, I'd not seen them since I did the photo shoot with them, which I think was in about October last year. So 
Manchester. Yes, it was lovely to see them. And I love how passionate they are about the Paul Mitchell range. And I also love the Paul Mitchell range. So it's probably one of the only brands that I go back to time and time again when it comes to hair care. Um, I obviously get sent quite a bit with my blog and stuff. But hair care is not something I really focus on that much. Except when it comes to the Paul Mitchell stuff. Because I absolutely love it. Um, I've had their new range. Cattail. I've had their new range for a couple of weeks now. Which is the Marula oil range. And I used it this morning. And my hair still smells absolutely beautiful. And despite copious amounts of hairspray. It still feels really soft. So, which is always good. This lighting is making me look incredibly grey. I feel like Jorah the Explorer off of Game of Thrones with his grey scale. Oh no, Percy. The cat's going crazy because I've just got in. And he's like, attention for me, never mind your vlog. So yes, I really love the Marula oil range. Um, I got some more of that stuff, so I'm going to give the stuff that I already have and that they gave me tonight, I'm going to give the duplicates to my mum because she also loves their stuff very very much she's probably got more than me to be honest so yes good range right there and um, they also told us like a cute little story about the marula oil plant I'm trying to get it to focus the plant of the plant the flower of the plant is actually um alcoholic or something similar to so the elephants eat the plant and then walk around all drunk and happy all day which is so cute I'm just picturing a load of elephants walking around drunk with Paul Mitchell products. Cute. Um, what else did we learn? I learned that three courses of food is very, very nice. We had um, mozzarella and um, light bruschetta, crisp bruschettas for starter. I had the vegetarian option for main, which was pea risotto, and it was so, so nice. And then we had a trio of desserts for pudding. So there was a passion fruit and uh, a passion fruit lemon meringue, no, a passion fruit meringue, a rhubarb um, strange thing. It was like jelly on top with a layer of custard and then a layer of layer of fruit, and then the cutest little um, strawberry milkshake in an old school style milk bottle with cute little straw chevron straw. So that was really good. My lipsticks managed to last pretty well through it all as well. I don't know if the light's picking it up very well, but yes, it only seems to be missing from the inner lip part. Right. Oh, I thought I was zooming the other way. You can tell I'm like the worst vlogger ever. I've still really not got the hang of this at all. And it doesn't help that my camera is absolutely naff. <sighs> vlogger problems, or vlogger problems, should I say. I might start having to vlog on my... DSLR when I'm indoors because this is getting ridiculous now. It doesn't focus very well and whatnot. What a waste of 50 quid that was. Um, yes, I'm going to go and see to Percy and make sure he's not destroying everything. And oh, Did you hear the big bang? He's obviously destroying something. But yes, I'm going to go give him some turkey and some attention because... He's been alone for a long time today. I came back after work and saw to him, fed him and stuff, but still. Bye, guys. We'll check in with you tomorrow when I am having a blogging evening when I get back from work. See you later. So, disaster has struck. This may very well be the last vlog <clears throat> I ever post. I don't know if I'll make it or not. Um, let me set the scene for you. So, this morning I woke up, took my hair out. It was a nice day, looked out the window, perfectly nice and clear. It's like, oh, I'll walk home from work tonight. <clears throat> I've got some flip-flops in my drawer at work, which I can wear to walk back in, and I can wear my new shoes while I'm sat down and try and break them in at work. So I went off to work in my new um, shoes, and then there was a problem. It started raining, <clears throat> and I couldn't get an Uber to get back, so I had to walk, but I obviously can't walk back in flip-flops, so I had to wear my new shoes. And I have very fat feet, or wide feet, chubby feet, whatever the politically correct word is for feet that won't fit into ASOS shoes. So they'd been pinching a little bit at work, 
um, so I knew it wasn't going to be an easy walk home. So I set off walking home, <clears throat> about 10 minutes into it, I could feel the shoes, because then like, they go into a point, I could feel them pushing one toe into the other, and it cutting into it, like the toenail was cutting into the other toe, because it was pushing them that, like, triangly shape in. Um, so I, like, lifted my foot out of the shoe and had a look, and there was just blood everywhere. It's so not good, and it stung so, so much. I had no plaster on me. It was raining. I had my handbag in one hand and my giant, massive golf umbrella in the other. Um, so I had to, I had to become creative, and I um, <clears throat> ripped up a simple makeup wipe. I had a pack of simple makeup wipes in my bag. Ripped up one and made like an impromptu, soggy makeup wipe bandage, so that it's like stop digging in and soak up some of the blood. And there was still like 15 minutes left for me to walk to get home. And you can tell how bad it is because I'm still all soggy and wet despite having a massive golf umbrella. So yes, yeah, so I may have to have my toe amputated. It's that bad. I'd show you but nobody wants to see feet on the internet. And I could show you the soggy bandage because I've just taken it off and it's here but nobody wants to see soggy bloody makeup wipes on the YouTubes either. So probably not. So I was going to take a load of like blog pictures and stuff tonight and be really good and get organised and get everything done so I can film YouTube videos on Saturday but now after my deathly injury I just want to curl up in bed. You're all thinking it's a toe Haley. stop being so dramatic but yeah it really stings because it's like a really, obviously your toenail is like thin so it's like a really like slice like um, a paper cut. And it's so TMI and all that, but yeah. So if there's not another vlog, you know why. It's because my toe fell off. Stop unfocusing. I'm here yet. So yes, if there's not another vlog, it's because my toe fell off and I um, died from loss of blood during the night. If that happens... I hate you all. Goodbye, cruel world. I'm so dramatic. But it really does hurt. And as well, my brows have done nothing but flake off all day. I was sat in like a two hour meeting this morning at work. And I could see them like flaking off. I was having to talk to somebody important. And all I could see on the end of my nose was um, a little bit of my eyebrow. Classy. So yeah, that made a good impression. But I don't know if you can see, there's still like, this bit's fallen off, this bit's fallen off, but you can still see a bit of pigment and stuff there. But it will come back after a few days. But this one's the worst, this one's more or less all fallen off. And I'm getting a little spot right here, and it's annoying. And I can't, because it's like one of those itchy spots and I can't touch it or itch it because <clears throat> I don't want to pull more of my brow off. Again, this is another five minute monologue brought to you by Hayley from Tea Party Beauty. Don't even know how I managed to ramble for so long. I should go, I should really go and like clean the blood out of my shoes. Because <clears throat> it's got all over because water was getting into my shoe as well. So, hmm. Ruined shoes, I should really go clean them out. And clean my foot up. And give myself some stitches. So, yes. Bye. Yay, it's Friday. We made it to the end of the week. Alive, just. Yes, after last night's debacle, it's a miracle. Um, we do have some good news and some bad news. Um, the good news is that I'm alive and I made it after my injury, my knee amputation and near death. Um, the bad news is... That I made it and I'm alive and that you're going to have to be subject to more vlogs. Yay! Subjected to more vlogs. And also my what's bound to be terrible attempt at YouTube this weekend. I'm going to try and film um, three videos on Saturday. One of them an unboxing. One of them a favourite. And one of them possibly a makeup look. But... <clears throat> 
my brows are in such a bad state at the minute that it might be impossible to do a look. I'm allowed to pencil them in where there's gaps at the minute. See if you can see. They're all like parts are flaky, parts are not flaky. Um, where it's flaked off, you can just see the very faintest hint of colour and outline. <clears throat> so I have had to draw them on this morning, but that's totally normal. That is what's meant to happen. So obviously it's like with a tattoo or a scratch or anything like that, it scabs over and then the skin underneath is new. Once that goes, pushes the ink out and bobs your uncle perfect brows. So yes, I booked in for my retouch, which is going to be the 5th, 5th of July. So I'm going to go down to London and I'm going to try, um, I've got an Aldi press day on the 6th. So I'm going to try stay overnight and use my brother's accumulated hotel points, steal them from him. And I'm going to meet lots of bloggers. Um, I've arranged to meet um, Effie May and Fix Mel Drew. Yay, exciting. Um, I've never met Effie before. I've met Vix once at the Blogger Award, the, the Bloggers Blog Awards. So yes, also that reminds me, it's, what are we in, May? The awards are going to be in September, October, so I really need to pull my finger out <clears throat> and get organising them. The worst thing is I need to secure a venue. I can't seem to find anywhere big enough that I like, that's cheap enough, because um, I was hoping to get it for free, because blagger and all that lot. I know what you're thinking. Um, but... I was like, no, no, I, if I can't get anywhere for free, I'll have to pay, but obviously I can't afford to put it out of my pocket, so I'll have to charge for tickets. But I think even if there was 100 people, that's a £10 a ticket, take some money out for um, food and drinks and stuff like that. It's. I had some quotes that were quoting me like three grand to cater for that many people. And not even to cater for in terms of food. This was just a venue hire and two glasses of Prosecco per person. <laughs> I can get Prosecco myself, like four quid a bottle at Aldi, but yeah, we'll see. So I need to start planning that. I need to get my YouTube stuff started, sorted first. Right, I'm going to go to work. Then early night tonight to film all my videos tomorrow. And then cry when I'm editing them because they're pants. Saturday morning. Um, I think I totally forgot to vlog yesterday. Totally useless vlogger. Um, I've been up since about seven because Percy and his scratching and annoyingness and his need for food. My brows have totally gone. Boo. Need to um, start drawing them on again for the next couple of weeks till they come back. But I've been to the post office this morning. I have a 50, uh, 30 pounds custom charge for some Jerleek items from Australia, which I don't have 30 pounds at the minute, so... I need to get that sorted next week. But I thought I'd just show you the most amazing thing I've been given. It's like... Let me show you. Excuse all the mess. I've been trying out my new light this morning for my camera, but realised that I don't have the appropriate batteries. But I've been sent from Iconic London, who, if you're not aware, are like um, one of Kim Kardashian's favourites. So look at this prettiness. You've got smooth and, let me take this plastic off. So you have smooth and brighten, correct and perfect, highlight and lift. Then we have tighten and tone, shape and shade and sculpt and define. It's such a beautiful palette. Can't wait to test it out. Then they also sent me their highlighter, which is just like, oh my God, it's so pretty. It's not going to pick up, is it? Stupid camera. But yes, that is Trez cute. And I'm trying to put the lid on upside down, which is always good. But the most amazingly beautiful beauty lover's dream is in this box. If you've seen on like Instagram and YouTube, these have been going around for the last couple of weeks. I mean, just look at that. It's the Iconic London version of the Artiste brushes, which MAC also have a version of, I believe. But just look at that, and it's the... <gasps> it's so soft. It's absolutely 
beautiful. I don't know how it'll work in practice, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers. I mean, just look how beautiful it is. I don't know how it'll work in practice, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers that have bought the Artiste brushes. They definitely haven't been given them, and they're not sponsored by them. And they said that they work like a dream. So I'm hoping this is the same. Ooh, ooh. I could rub that on my face forever. So I'm filming YouTube videos today, so I might give it a try. Um, or I might just wait until next week to film with it until... You know, to give it a proper good video that it deserves. Um, because the quality of today is probably won't be very good. But yes, I'm going to continue opening some more post. Um, then I am going to get ready. Um, film an unboxing video for the Look Incredible box. Film a spring-summer liquid lipstick favourites. And possibly something else maybe we shall see I have no idea maybe a what's new kind of video because I've also been sent the makeup revolution new palette which is the flawless matte 2 and it has some beautiful shades in it and mattes are my best friend because having hooded, eye, hooded eyes you're not meant to wear shimmers so mattes are my best buddies right I'm going to go finish opening the rest of my post toodles I forgot to sign my vlog off for the day. I finished, I think, and said I was going to go film some YouTube videos, which I did. I filmed two. I've not tried to edit them yet, so they're probably pants. But then I got into bed and put my pyjamas on. I was going to watch the FA Cup final, and Sammy, Jess, and Corinne phoned me. I was like, oh, come out. We're in town having drinks. So obviously, they forced me to go out, and I had to go out and drink. I can get back till about 12, so I was not going to vlog drunk. But I've just got ready, we're going to, not we, I am going to a benefit event that, oh wow, Percy's just thrown my money everywhere. Thanks mate. No, stop playing with the pound coin please. I give up. I'm just going to have pound coins everywhere. So yeah, I'm going to a benefit event. It's for the new launch of their brow range, which I think has nine new products in. So yes. Been lots of footage from that. They are doing brow makeovers on the day, but obviously because mine are tattooed on, I emailed them I was like oh, I can't have it done. But now all the scabs have come off and I can draw them back on again. Um so yeah, I probably could have them done. Oh look at that highlight though. So yes, going to that event, I really should have had more of an effort, but I plan to get up this morning and wash my hair and everything and Obviously, I went out last night and got a bit drunk, and I was like, oh, no, I'm not washing my hair today. So we'll see how that goes. We shall see. So I'm going to sign off, and um, I will take you to benefit with me.
people of the internet. I'm back from Benefit. It was such a fun afternoon. And I had my, my uh, I can't even speak. I had my brows done. I mean, like seriously, how on point and fleeky are they? And I've had a nap and they've lived through that perfection. So we got to mess around with the new products that they have. They've got nine new products coming out. Um, on my brows there is, I think it's called Wow Brow. No, it's not. I'm lying. I can't remember. It's like um, what it's called? It's like a gel cream pomade style hybrid that's on my brows, and then with some Gimme Brow over the top. The Gimme Brow is not new, but they've added new shades and they've repackaged it, so it matches all the rest of the um, products. But yeah, I'm very impressed with them all, and I can't wait to try them out. We got sent home with a little mini, with two mini Gimme Brows. Um, so I have them in my shade, which is five in the new ones, which, as you can tell, like matches perfectly. It's a very deep brown that's ashy, um, no warmth in it at all. I think the number three and number four have warmth in but five and six are very ashy and I'm very happy about that because one of my biggest bugbears is dark brow products for brunettes that have um, red tones in them because there's no red tones at all to my hair so it's annoying when brow products have that in. So I can't wait to try the new products when um, they get sent out in a couple of weeks. The release date is not actually until June, at the end of June I think it is, June 24th. So yes, there's still a little time until we've hit boots and benefit counters. But so impressed. And that's it, that's all I've done today. Because it's Sunday and yes. I really felt like I should have gone out afterwards because eyeshadow was also looking pretty fleeky today with my new brows. But I was too tired after the event. <laughs> I sound like a little old grandma because I've not actually done anything other than go to an event. But yes. I don't really have any plans for the rest of the afternoon. I was going to edit yesterday's YouTube videos but I just can't be bothered. I'm so, so tired. The uh, Oh, I'm getting a new desk for my bedroom because at the minute my Mac's on, my big Mac is on a three tier set of Ikea drawers which is no good because at the minute it's just been used as a glorified TV because the drawers are so high and I can't get a chair up to them and anything so I'm going to go buy a new desk this week um, my mum has one at her house which is my brother's old one which is perfect, it's white except it's too big for the space that I have available so I'm going to go get one from Argos I think it's about 25 quid Yes, I need to go do that this week and get a proper desk set up so that it encourages me to sit and edit. Other than that, no real major plans this week, so it's going to be an exciting vlog. Hello, Percy. Come and say hello. Come and say hello. Hello. He doesn't like you. He's gone again. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, yes, I'm going to go now. Sign off this week's vlog because it's Sunday and now I'm on a proper vlogging schedule. Woohoo for me. So I hope you all have a fab week and I will see you in the morning. Well, no I won't. I will see you next week for another vlog. But it will start tomorrow morning. So see you all later and have a lovely week. Mm -hmm.